Hi, this is going to be a really quick video, a little different than the others. This is really just to help you out with this yellow vocab vocabulary review sheet for the upcoming test. It looks sort of like this. Um, so you could probably do it without my help, but just in case you want some help. For the groups, the only one that you should have maybe some trouble with is the Quakers, because we have not learned about them yet, but the Quakers are a group that settled in Pennsylvania. They came here seeking religious freedom. William Penn began the Pennsylvania colony um, for Quakers. They are in the middle colonies. It's kind of an example of tolerance in the middle colony, the colonies where they were a little more accepting of other religions than they were in New England. Um, when we get to the people down here, William Penn, I just mentioned, is going to start the Pennsylvania colony as a home for Quakers and other religions eventually. Um, and then the other one you might not know here is John Peter Zenger. John Peter Zenger is a guy who was a New York newspaper publisher who got arrested for printing articles that criticized the royal governor. And the royal governor did not like that and had him arrested. And he was found not guilty. Um, even though he had printed the articles, his defense was that everything he said was true. The guy he was, the royal governor, was a horrible governor and a bad person and a lying, cheating, stealing crook or whatever he called them. I don't know. Um, but anyways, it's an example of how um, British citizens here in the colonies expected the same rights that they would have had in England, including freedom of the spirit freedom of speech and freedom of the press. It's a famous court case. For the places, um, you should know all of these with the possible exception of the middle colonies, the New England colonies, and the southern colonies because we have not yet covered those. But if you look at a map, it's kind of clear the New England ones are in New England, the, the northeast corner of the United States around Maine. The middle colonies will be in the middle and the southern colonies will be down south and they have different um, cultures in New England. The colonies were very often founded for religious reasons. They had long, I'm sorry, they had a short growing season in a rocky soil. Therefore, farming was not very profitable. So they didn't have big, huge farms. They lived close together in towns and villages and cities. They did all kinds of things to make money including hunting, I'm, I'm sorry, shipbuilding, whaling, fishing, um, small farms, other types of things. Uh, whereas in the middle colonies, they have a mixed economy. They're called the breadbasket colonies in the middle colonies because they grow wheat and corn and oats and things like that, which they sell to the other colonies. They have some large cities and some rural areas. They're kind of a combination of the two of the New England and Southern, and they're more tolerant than they are in New England of other religions. The Southern colonies, it's a slave economy down there, growing tobacco, indigo, and rice, which are cash crops. They have a few, a small number of people called planters who own all the land, make all the money, control all the government. Most of the people are very poor, and there's a lot of people who are slaves because that's what their whole economy is going to be based on. Um, miscellaneous here, cash crops, they will, they're in the middle colonies. They're, you can probably figure out what they mean. The Crusades were religious wars that opened up people's eyes to the rest of the world, kind of. Salem witch trials we have not learned about yet, but it's kind of the name kind of says it all, so I'm not going to help you out with that one too much right now. Um, these other ones you should know, indentured servants are people who agree to work for a certain amount of time. Usually they would come over here, an owner would pay for their trip. Then they'd, they'd be almost like and being enslaved for, but it was only for a short period of time, like maybe five or seven years, and then they were free. Um, mercantilism, if you were not here for that, or if, we didn't go over it in your class, we will, but it's basically the idea that colonies exist to make the mother country money, to make mother money. That's what, and England made laws that kind of enforced that policy. All right, the Columbian exchange and the triangular trade. Know the difference between these two. A lot of people confuse them. Uh, you can read that box there, help you out. 
Jamestown and Plymouth. Make sure you know the difference between these two. People get them easily confused. This nice Venn diagram will help you distinguish between them. And then down here at the bottom, the ones that are neither Jamestown nor Plymouth. Moving on, these are just the words that you're going to, the definitions. And you're going to have a couple days to do this. And if you have some that you don't get, I'm okay with that. I'm just worried if you have whole pages that aren't done. Now as your special bonus, I'm going to give you these ones. 1500s was the age of exploration when they were exploring in 1500s, starting 1492 when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. 1600s is going to be colonization or colonies. Years to remember, you should know 1492, 1607, Jamestown was in heaven. 1620 is going to be Pilgrims and Plymouth beginning. Examples of democratic self-government in the colonies. This is examples of where the colonies start to govern themselves. There's a few of them in your notes. These are all in the English colony um, or the British colonies. There's town meetings in New England. There's the Mayflower Compact. There's... Um, Mayflower, uh, what am I, oh, the House of Burgesses, the legislature in, down in Jamestown. Things that are easily confused, don't be easily confused. Learn the difference between them. All right, here, this is just pure fun, matching up which ones go which. A little hint, read the definition first on this side and try to find it over here. And also, each section is a separate start over again in each section, each section. So you're not matching things across the lines here. All right, I think that is all. I'm going to just put one thing else up on the screen to help you out, and you can pause and look at it. That's not the one I wanted. Um, let me just go back here. And, oh, come on, where is it? Uh, I just had it open to. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess you're not going to get that one, but I'll give it to you in class. So if you're missing a few, it's okay. All right. Have a good day. That is all.